Hello and welcome to the Toyota. You know what? We're gonna roll with it. Toyota GR86. Very professional here. We are at Lime Rock Park, and uh, I've. Uh, it's a brand new car. First of all, uh, it's not completely brand new to me because I've done a couple of races already, in uh, in this one. Um, kind of while I was sick, <laughs> I did some races. Um, for example, at the New Virginia track, but uh, he obviously was not feeling well, did not want to record all that. And uh, just was trying to learn as well, so even if I was feeling okay, I probably wouldn't have been recording it. Because new car and new track, lots to take in. Um, I got wrecked a lot by other people. Uh, but I also did a little bit of my own wrecking as well, and uh, it kind of just equaled a lot of wrecking. <laughs> so... Uh, been a ha I've had a rough start with this car to begin with, and uh, I'm being thrown into the top splits because of my road eye rating a lot, which means just being thrown to the toughest competition immediately. Not the greatest learning environment, maybe. But, um, if you take it another way, maybe it is. Because, you know, you're watching the guys who are really fast do it, and uh, you can try to copy them, so... Uh, I really, I'm very familiar with Lime Rock, however, so that helps out a lot. Uh, and, you know, I've got a little bit of experience in this car down now. I, I did also do a race at Laguna Seca in this car. Um, I think it was during week 13. And uh, that was very tough. Got wrecked in that one as well. Someone dove it in on, on me on the uh, corkscrew. And uh, so that was cool. But I remember I still ended up finishing okay in that race, just because other people were continuing to wreck. And uh, I think we got away from it a little bit. So, well, I'm just, I'm hoping we can have a nice, a clean race here. I can hopefully uh, get some more laps. Belt in this car. Ooh, actually, uh, well, I was going to say I took that well, and then I started hitting every freaking turtle. Um, but, you know, kind of just trying to improve with the car. See what I can do. Best right now is uh, on time is a 59.8. I don't think I can just pull that out of my pocket though. That was kind of difficult to reach. One more lap. We might get ourselves a low one though. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I can live with that. Heading into the race here. So get a pretty good turn one it looks like get a nice setup through there could have taken that better but could have been worse too I, I get this turn wrong more uh, the chicane here wrong more often than I get it right I guess I guess that'll work I was pretty heavy on the curbs there but it we got through it the angle pretty pretty well there. Hey, this is a pretty good lap if I can get the final corner, which I don't. Why do I speak too soon? I just completely missed my turn in and it ruined the whole lap. Are you kidding me? Did I really just do that? I was like, I was headed for a 59 there and then I'm like, do doy doing a good lap, am I? Doing a right fair lap, I am. And then I just go and toss it away. So, that's cool. Um, I don't think we were going to gain too many spawn. Well, I guess there's a couple of guys in the high nines right in front of me that I might have been able to surpass, but that's okay. I'm not here to win. That's for the guy that got a 59-1 to do. Uh, he's got 7,000 I rating, so we are in top split here. Uh, this car's got great participation, which is cool. Free car, and uh, one that it seems like people are really enjoying. And I am too, as long as I can race it and not get run over, which I've been doing a lot of. I've been having a lot of people run into the back of me so far and dive it in and go wide and door me and spin me around. That's happened a lot and it's been pretty frustrating actually, but uh, that's not the car's fault, so I can, I can feel that I'm having fun when I'm racing on my own in this car. It's fun to drive, but uh, I just haven't had very many good races yet, unfortunately. So. 
I'm hoping this will be a good one. Lime Rock. Place I got lots of experience in, like I mentioned, so. No wonder I'm not turning, right? Wrong gear for part of that. Whatever. Um, just running laps waiting to go here. Shouldn't be too much longer. I'm not like the slowest, am I? No. Okay, we're ahead of we're ahead of a fair number of people. That's cool. Especially in a strong field. Uh, I'm glad I'm not just dead lights. We are the seven. So I think I was just the seven in Arca at Martinsville too. So seven's our number today, I guess. I think a big key for me is not messing up that chicane, because I mess that up so bad. <laughs> a lot. I wish I would not mess it up. That would be great, but uh, easier said than done. I, I could definitely work on my consistency. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Be interesting to see how messy the chicane is. That's awkward. It's so scary. Like you have to be a little bit of aggr uh, a little bit aggressive and kind of just trust what you're doing in order to get the chicane right. It feels like, and uh, not known for my confidence, believe it or not. So. might be part of why it's a weakness for me. Other than the fact that it's probably like the actual yeah, hardest turn on the course. Nice. But we will get our camera ready for later while we are... Oh, well, okay, never mind. Not allowed. There we, <laughs> there we go. So we are gridding up. Did we get P8 in the end? Yes, we did. Uh, fastest person to not get a 59. Uh, if we just hold spot, hold hold our course here, we'll get a my, uh, modest gain of I rating. I gotta stop looking at that though. That's always depressing. Cause like I would be happy finishing tenth, even if that would make me lose lose out. That's but that's okay. I gotta remember not to look at that. I kind of want to turn this off to be honest. It makes me feel bad, <laughs> and I know I shouldn't. So, well, that's right. We gotta do a lap of pacing, unfortunately. Closed, Always closed. somehow even more nerve-wracking than the race. Get a drink of water. Got some new cups for Christmas. They're very, very nice looking. Like a pastel, different colors. Very good thing to have for like a glass of water. I need that too after getting over my sickness recently. I need to get lots of water. So good to have that. This is the most interesting conversation you've ever heard. Anyway, we'll have uh, the fast repair ready as well. All right, and let's uh, let's survive the pace lap. How about we we do that? I think Nick just posted. I just saw it briefly. He posted on Twitter um, his his race. They crashed during the pace lap. So nothing. Uh, not taking anything for granted. It wasn't Nick that wrecked, by the way. It was some people behind him. They all stacked up and started running into each other, which is just really sad. Pacing in road series is just notoriously so bad. Because uh, I guess a lot of them are used to standing starts. And then you got all the people like slamming on their brakes and stuff so they can, I don't know, warm stuff up. Warm their rear bumpers up with the front bumper of the person behind. That'll warm it up real good. See people like swerving all over the track when we're supposed to be pacing too wide. Just, just some good stuff. You know. All the good stuff. I'm gonna try to be patient early on. Try not to be side by side if I can avoid it. Really wish that person would have been patient and did it single file like I was trying to do but taking risks on the pace lap I guess I'm overreacting it shouldn't be hard to it shouldn't be hard to go too wide through there but I was trying to do it single wide or single file but uh, I'm thinking it's a second gear start 
That I could be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe I'll try first. I don't know. Kind of in between here. I'm gonna just second gear. They're going. They're going. Hello, sir. They're going. And we're gonna just nearly get pushed off the course by somebody. That's cool. Really aggressive early on. We're, uh, we're doing okay. Single file, that's what I wanted heading up through here. Never mind. Okay, maybe maybe we're still good. No, they're trying to pass immediately. So. Getting checked up. That's fine. Still okay. That 18 is going to wreck. There's no doubt in my mind. He's being way too aggressive. And, uh... He's all over the place. So, I uh, don't want to be around him, but I kind of have to be. Somebody's off right there. There's a ton of momentum. We're going to be heading in faster into turn one, so i got to be careful. He's not making that corner. No way. Okay, he did. Good job. <laughs> I didn't think he was making that corner. That's how shallow he answered, but he did it. So that, that'll teach me. Let me focus on what I'm doing. How about that instead of worrying about him? Nine for now. Nowhere to go at the moment. I, I want to try to get around if I can, but don't know how I'm going to pull that off with much ease. Carry much more momentum right there. We have to go for it. The leader has just done a left to the right. Point three. Your lap time is one zero zero point one seconds. Clear. Hey, okay. Okay, that was a bad angle. That little there and I messed it up. He's gonna bump me, I guess? What is your problem? Get off me! Car right! Holy cow, I don't even know what happened, but I heard car right. And that was about the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. How did I survive that? I don't even know what happened. Uh, <laughs> we're going to see later, because some people didn't make it through that, but I think I just got really lucky there. Because I was focused on taking the chicane, and all of a sudden I got car right, and I definitely should not have gotten car right. <laughs> okay. Well, we got some space behind us now. That's a positive. That's your quickest lap in this session. Hey, get through turn one pretty well there. I don't know, the brake's a little bit too hard. Keep hitting that stupid curb right there, and that just kills your, uh, kills your time. You wouldn't think it would do much, but it really throws you off. Not a great chicane there. A little weird on my turn in angle. We'll be okay. Hit the curb again. Actually, it wasn't so bad, though. Okay, let's drive off the course. Cool. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Alright. Thankfully, we figured out we're not in an open wheel car that just kills itself as soon as it hits grass, so. Uh, <laughs> we're in baby car for baby driver. Which is me. Not really. It's still. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's a. It's a rookie car for a reason, but we'll call it a baby car necessarily. But it is forgiving, and it forgave. It forgave me there for my sins. Can I hit this stupid chicane right? Hey. Okay. Not. Not the worst. 
a half a tenth off by best effort through there, so I could I'll take that. If I could do that consistently, I'd be happy. I think uh, carrying more speed through there because of draft kind of contrib contributed in me dri driving off last time. If I can speed. What's going on ahead? We got a couple of issues. All right. Not the best I've gotten through there, but I think I got through it a little bit better than the guy I had. So far, I have been wrong about the 18, and he has not crashed anybody. He made me worried off the start, but. Maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I jumped the gun on my uh, judgment. Still got eight, uh, nine minutes or so left. You've just done a fifty-nine point seven. Why there? Fortunately. Now making a move here, of course. That would be a way to die, uh, sign your death warrant pretty early. Just kind of following them through there. Turned in too early. That was kind of ugly. I keep messing up the final corner. It's, I'm having trouble adjusting to uh, going through there a little bit faster than I'm used to. Well, I'm close enough to maybe to pressure him a little bit, but I don't know if I have anything for him, really. Ugh, terrible chicane. Yeah, might as well park it, get out, and eat a bag of Cheetos or something if I'm going to go that slow. Sit there, wait for the bus. Suck. I think I would learn from my mistakes. Oh well. The gap to Anderson ahead is now 0.8. Just the inconsistency biting me as it typically does. Okay, he's a little off course there. It's gonna break some of his momentum. Oh, I hit the chicane for once. All right. Not my best, but pretty good. Good lap coming right here. Uh oh, I, I spoke too soon again. Ah, uh, no. Okay, we we got the final corner pretty decent as well. Nice. All right. Was a 59.7. And I had to hold up for him ahead a little bit. Don't wait too long. Find that gap. I don't want to pass right here. I think I make him think I am. Maybe he's not falling for it. Though. I don't know how I'm going to make a pass. 
I really don't. I got damage with us, I think. He keeps kind of going off course. Maybe that'll help me. I underdrove that because I was afraid I was going to drive it too hard. Uh, frustrating, man. Five minutes left. That lap was at one zero zero point three seconds. Yeah, lots of smoke in it. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're pretty equal on on speed with the guys ahead, I think. So I, I won't feel too bad falling behind them or anything later. Or, you know, finishing behind them later. I cannot figure out the final corner anymore. Just can't get the balance of speed right. I keep overdoing it or underdoing it. Stay close, there might be a chance here. My head takes turn one pretty awkwardly right there. Ooh, gets a little bit unsettled. I'm not gonna fake him out again. Just gonna try to hit this correctly. Alright, follow him through well enough. Continue to mess up this corner. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I'm not turning in early enough. I just I can't get it right. Got the grass a little bit there, but we're okay. Just help me turn, that's all. Right on his bumper. Turn in earlier. I guess that was okay. He gets direct grass, but it doesn't seem to slow him down all too much. I'm supposed to pass him. I get on the brakes a little harder so I don't get in the back of him and there goes all my momentum. That just stunk. I don't know how to pass, man. I don't know how to set anything up. I just, I can't do it, man. He just continues to get off track. Maybe I'll pass him because he... I hate myself. God, I can't do that corner right. Ugh. Oh well. I guess I just have to hope he makes a mistake, because I'm incapable of passing. Yeah, I can't even drive right anymore. Throw me in the garbage can. Jesus. You've used half your fuel. Try coming to white flag here? Yep. 
get me out of here before I wreck my car. So uh, I can't drive anymore. There, I finally want to hit it correctly. One more left to go. Maybe the 18 will make a desperation move on the 19 right now. Hit him on the inside uh, there by making a move. Pass both of them. Zero, zero, nah, just one of them. I almost got it, though. I was correct about the 18. I was just a little bit early on my assumption. I need this over with. I can't drive anymore. I freaking trash. Jesus. I guess it's, I guess it's just tires. Like that's why it's not turning as well. I'm not adapting to worn tires as well. I'm not used to tires being a very big thing because Mazda cars usually seem to do just fine over the course of a race, the sprint length of races that we do. Got a little down on myself there at the end. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, we'll finish seventh where we're technically supposed to, I guess. Is what it is. I drove off the car the track a couple times. What an idiot. What are you doing? Why are you just slamming on the brakes in the middle of the track after the end? Good job. Very good job. I will never understand the thought process of some people. Alright, just gonna park it right after the start finish line. Surely no one will become driving through here. I didn't even see him. Thankfully I didn't get an X from that. The other guy ahead did. Or maybe not. Maybe he saved it. Eh, probably got a loss of control. He probably got two X from that. And yeah, I'd be mad. What is that? Why are you slamming on your brakes? There's people coming. Oh well. We got 7th, so we, we technically move ahead of spot and finish where we're supposed to. I'm frustrated with my off-tracks, because I'm trying to improve my uh, road safety rating. I ended up losing, uh, going from a 3 to a 2 um, while learning this car and failing at Virginia or whatever. Um, wow, well, that's a nice guy. He's... Uh, apologizing to the guy that dove it in and hit him. That's interesting. But uh, we'll see what else happened out here. D96, pretty good. That's uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I know that's draft aided, but Got people sending people through. Chicane. It's really interesting how well you can survive being off in the grass here. Like, they just did that update that's supposed to, like, make the grass area more treacherous, but it seems like people are doing just fine. Of course, maybe it, it should be mostly okay in this car, I don't know. Oof. Oof. Getting a lot of those curbs. One sends it through. I'm gonna get some more off tracks here, it looks like. I'm probably gonna hit the curb and go off right here. Oh, we got a couple of spinners on the same lap here. Whoa! Got scary. Is that me? Did I get... Was I behind that? No, that was someone else. I couldn't tell that that was my red and black car, but that was this one. This, that's my paint, by the way. It's just red and black gradient. I just made it in uh, an iRacing's paint thing. It's really nothing. There just weren't too many... With a new car, there weren't too many things. Paints out for, uh, for it when I looked. None that I really cared for, so I just made generic thing. It's moving right along, it seems most of the issues are just people hitting the <laughs> curbs pretty hard. It's 
some spinners. People bumping into each other. The way that the one takes this corner, he seems to always hit that bump. The 10 turns in on that guy, even though it was very clearly there. What's the record going on? It must be the way you should do that, I guess. Kind of straddle that curb. Maybe you can do that and still and get away without getting any off tracks or anything. I can see how that would be fast. 15 having some issues this race. Oh, there's the guy that uh, has had a scheme that kind of looks like me. Whoa, almost flipping it at Lime Rock. It really must have been the tires. Like, yeah, 77 on the left front. That's pretty that's pretty worn. So I guess that must have been it. It's probably why it wasn't gripping as much, so. I just gotta instead of getting frustrated, just realize I have to back it down a little bit. If my tires are gonna be wearing out like that. I got a nose uh, for third place. And the inside gets the curve, but it's gonna cost him. Oh wow, this is intense. And yeah, here's the sand. Like... I, I had a feeling that was gonna happen at some point. I, I didn't expect him to wait the whole race to do it. I expected him to pull a move like this on lap 4 or something. But he's like, I gotta have 6th. It's 6th or bust. And uh, the answer was bust. Which, he still finished ninth. So, he got going pretty well, but it just, it cost him more positions than he would have gained. I don't think that guy has to apologize, that's a huge dive bomb. So, he, uh, he decides to give us that position, so thank you, thank you, sir. Some more final lap racing... Oof, they're all beating on each other. They've been doing that the whole race, seems like. Here's a battle for like 12th or something. I think someone said that they were having quite a race for 12th at the end, and that's why we're basically three wide going in there. Oh, look at this move! Look at this move! Please finish ahead of that guy, that'd be awesome. Oh, he does. That was cool. You know what? Well done to this guy. He found a way through while these guys were beating on each other. That was cool. Well done. He found a way through, and uh, he gets three spots after the final corner. That's that's pretty awesome. Nice. That was cool. Shout out to Daniel here <laughs> for a pretty cool move on the last lap. And uh, that should probably do it. I imagine, yeah, do it. So, I am very happy with that in the end. Uh, I haven't really had, I haven't had a clean race in this car yet uh, until now. I'll call that a clean race, even though I drove off the track a little bit and frustrated myself. But uh, we got ourselves a P7 right where we're supposed to, and a fairly strong strength of field for road, especially for what I'm usually in. So, uh, feeling pretty good. All right, we'll gain about 18 I rating to add to my 3.5 ish. Or whatever. Hopefully my safety rating stays about the same. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. So I care about that more, but uh, I shouldn't care anyway. I'm not going to lose the license, I don't think. So, all right, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed some uh, Toyota or whatever I called it at the be beginning. Toyota. We crashed some Toyotas. No, <laughs> we uh, had a fun race at Lime Rock Park. So I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time, wherever that may bring us. Have a good one.